G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. And today we're unboxing this Blue Eti Premium 200 V2 portable power station. I love portable power stations. Let's get in the box and see what it looks like. Yeah, so this is the V2, the Blue Yeti Premium 200. What's different about the V2? Well, we'll get into that in a minute, but um, it's really well packaged. That's the first thing. Uh, let's get let's get it open. These things are built tough, but the box helps. It makes it look nice when it arrives. Now it says in about six languages, please keep this box. There you go. <laughs> um, if you do need to return it for warranty, and by the way, it has a five year warranty, the box is the way to return it. It's got the packaging, uh, it will protect it and transport. All right, let's see what's in the first little box. So we've got a um, IEC type or kettle connector. Uh, with an Australian plug on it. Of course, they come localized to the plugs you require in the country that you live. Uh, it also comes with uh, a connector for solar. So we've got, it looks like, yes, uh, we can connect two solar panels to this using these kind of standardized connectors. Uh, and it comes with some little uh, tag, a little warning information. Only use solar panels with compatible voltage because the input of this is suitable for 12 to 60 volts. Now there are some panels that go over 60 volts. Don't use those, very few. And we've got a little tiny thing. Oh, we've got some, we've got a screw here. I think this will be, if you want to use the grounding point, there's a screw for grounding. So I'll put those back in the box so I don't lose them. And by the way, this is for AC charging. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, I mean, it can charge really fast. Uh, we were talking 2,300 watts. That's a lot of fast charging. and In less than 1.1 hours, you'll get to 80% just using this. So it'll recover quick and it also has pass-through. So you can supply the loads and charge at the same time. That's really cool. Now we've got the instruction manual and a beautiful silky soft piece of plastic. Okay, and here's our little introduction, our warranty card. So fill this out, follow the instructions because it does come, as I said, with a five year warranty. This thing's gonna last you a long time. So go to the trouble of completing your warranty card. And now we've got the user manual. And I'm not gonna go through this. We're gonna actually just do the usual thing, skip straight to the fun part and play with it. No. Okay, let's get it out. So here it is, pretty nice, eh? Uh, <laughs> turn it around so we can see it a bit better. There you go. Cool, eh? So let's run through the specs. Okay, let's have a look at the front of this unit. Uh, now, I should say that this V2 is, I think, 40% smaller. It's a lot smaller than the previous model, but it still packs a hell of a punch. In fact, it's still got a 2,700 watt pure sine wave rated power and a surge power of 3,900 watts. Basically, it'll start just about anything you can plug into a standard 10 amp socket outlet. That's pretty cool. Inside here is a lithium ferrophosphate battery system. Now these are automotive grade batteries. These are high quality lithium batteries with a total capacity of 2,074 watt hours or approximately two kilowatt hours. So you could run a one kilowatt heater for two hours. That's probably not the most sensible way of using a beautiful power station like this, but you know, cooking, uh, power tools. I mean, these are effectively uh, a small generator without petrol. It's just like, well, and unlike a generator, you can refuel it with solar. Now, that brings me to uh, this little adapter here. So this adapter here is designed to plug in and allow you to connect two solar panels, uh, a maximum of a thousand watts, uh, but uh, you know, panels really, the ones you'll be carrying with you are gonna be well below 500 watts in size. So, uh, you know, some camping panels, uh, a maximum of 60 volts uh, per panel and you just plug them in here, 
put your panels in the sun and you're recharging this unit uh, at a quite uh, respectable rate. So that's, that's pretty cool. So unlike a generator, you can actually recharge it at 20 amps uh, in situ. You can also charge this from AC as well. So that's what the uh, kettle type plug is for. It goes around this side here, I think. I don't know if I can reach it. There's a little socket here for it. I think that's it there. <laughs> and I can charge this at a very rapid 2,300 watts. Why don't we try it? Now, as you can see straight away, it's powering up. Uh, the screen comes on and it's telling me uh, that we're charging uh, at the moment at uh, 663 watts, but the battery's at a relatively low state of charge and it's cold. In fact, it's been down to about five degrees here. Uh, so this is sitting as a very cold state, but these batteries could be charged even when they're down to zero degrees. So that's, that's really awesome. When you store these, you can store them even colder than that, but if you want to use them, uh, discharging them, you probably want to let them, you know, be a more comfortable temperature to get the most efficiency uh, out of these units. Really loving the display showing a uh, dynamic uh, circle that it's charging the battery. That's pretty cool. So what else? Uh, if I had solar connected at the moment, it would be charging from AC and solar at the same time. Dual charging, yeah. Now I did mention durability. The batteries in here are rated for three and a half thousand cycles to 80% remaining capacity. Now, three and a half thousand cycles of use every day, that's over 10 years. So yeah, this is a, a long life battery system. It's got overload protection. So if you short circuit or it gets too hot for whatever reason, the battery management system, which is a smart battery management system, will protect the batteries. So you can operate it down to minus 10. Now here in Australia, there's not many places that get down to minus 10. I know Canberra does occasionally and up in the Southern Alps. Uh, so yeah, it'll work basically anywhere. Uh, when it comes to the hot side, best to keep it below 40 degrees. So don't just sit it in the boiling sun and, and use it because uh, eh, it's a bit harsh. Now in terms of weight, this unit is very portable. Only 24 kilos with integrated really solid handles. And like I said, it's smaller than the previous unit. So this is 350 mils by 250 uh, by 323. So it's compact. And I really like just hooking it up with these uh, built-in handles. Now it also has an app. So the app uh, is connected via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is pretty cool. I've got other Blue Eddy units here, which I can just monitor from anywhere in the world because once they're on, they're connected to my Wi-Fi and I can tell them to power up uh, their AC outputs, their DC outputs, and also uh, even power them down remotely. Uh, so that's, that's really cool. Now, what about the USB side of things? We noticed that there is a bunch of ports on the front here and of course, that's another great feature of a portable power station you can power not only two AC socket outlets of uh, 230 volt outlets uh, or up to 2,700 watts of total load. You've also got USB-A and these USB-A ports are five volt, three amps and USB-C power delivery to 100 watt power delivery 3.0 USB-Cs. So this will power basically any laptop. In fact, two laptops. It's also got a 12 volt socket outlet here. Uh, typical, you'll find this in, in cars, sometimes called a cigarette light socket, but no one smokes anymore. Um, this this uh, 12 volt outlet will be suitable for plugging in things like portable fridges, etc., cetera, that are designed to go uh, with your vehicle. So there you go. It's got um, DC inputs via solar. It's got DC outputs, 12 volt. It's got USB, A and C. It's got 230 volt AC outputs. It's got a beautiful uh, screen, and if I turn it all on, now turn the AC outputs on as well, turn the DC outputs on, now I've got everything, everything running. So, uh, in summary, a, a really useful product. Uh, in fact, because I've got a few of these, my neighbors love me. They keep coming around every time one of them's going camping or actually doing some work out in the paddock, they go, Glenn, can we borrow one of your Blue Eddies? Uh, so, no more carting generators out to remote locations using a Blue Eddy. That's a much better way to go. 
So anyway, I think I should run some things off this. Let's see what works. Okay, let's plug in this blow heater. This blow heater has two settings, half power and full power, so I ran about 1200 watts and 2400 watts. Turn the screen on so we can see. Now it's currently got the AC supply connected, so it's gonna be doing pass through. So it's just fan only, I think. And there we're doing 60 watts or so. And it's still charging uh, the batteries. Let's go for half power. Now we're doing, if I can get around here and have a closer look. <laughs> get around here. Uh, so it's drawing 880 watts. And let's crank it right up. So this is going full power now. Uh, so we're drawing 1,685 watts. Now I'm gonna unplug the grid supply. Slight dip in voltage because the grid is actually slightly higher. So the grid was coming in at 240 volts. This is operating at 230. So you'll hear a slight speed change uh, in, the, in the fan. And if I turn the screen back on, uh, there we go. Running very smoothly, drawing in this case, uh, 1,780 watts of heat. <laughs> yeah, now it tells you on the screen how long it's gonna run for. So it's saying uh, something like, if I can turn it around a bit, four hours. Wow, so I can run this for four hours at this moment. And it's currently, oh no, so not four hours, 0.4 of an hour. <laughs> I didn't see the decimal place. That makes more sense because this battery is only currently at 38%. So a bit under half an hour uh, till it's exhausted. Now, if this was fully charged at 100%, I could run this for over an hour easily. Uh, there you go. Should we try some more things? Okay, let's try my laptop. So this is a, uh, uh, a Mac Pro. It's, it can draw quite a bit of power. And uh, let's plug it in and we can see the draw on this side here. So it's just starting up, it's only drawing 10, 11 watts. Um, modern computers are so efficient, you could run this all day uh, off this quite easily. So we're up to 38 watts. Yeah, now we're talking. So yeah, it's it's drawing a fair amount of power um, off this. Now this unit has two 100 watt power delivery 3.0 USB-C outputs. So I could actually plug another one in and run another laptop. Really cool. So there you go. Um, <laughs> I'm loving my Blue 80s.